Sunday and Monday, July 23rd and 24th, we have a lineup in the heavens. We have the sun, we have Mars and the moon all standing together. And they're in such close degree. The sun's at one degree, the Mars is at two degrees, and the moon at about noon on the 23rd is at five degrees. So can you imagine, There's th we call this a conjunction and a stellium. In astrology, when there's three planets that are all standing together holding hands, it's called the stellium. And that means that that theme is super loud in that person's life. So it's a double Leo with Mars on their son. A baby was born. They'd be an actress. They'd be dramatic. They'd have flair. Leo gets undervalued. Somehow in astrology, it's considered ego-centered. But you know what it is to me? It's just passionate. Like they have so much love for life. They get so excited over nothing. They get hot and they get heated and they get bossy and they get pushy. And this energy of Leo is what it takes for all of us to stay young and to be alive and kicking. So can you imagine the sun and the moon Moon, and this is during a dark sky because when the sun and moon are together, if you've been watching my videos, you know it's a new moon. There's no reflection. So if we lived in primitive times, it'd be a dark night and we would not be going out to have a wild full moon party, quite the opposite. We'd be at home in a dark sky, not being able to walk at night because we couldn't see and we'd be in reflection. Well, Leo's best trait is not self-reflection. They need feedback. So this is the part in all of us during these two days, Sunday and Monday, where you might turn to your friend or to your lover or to your best friend, whoever, and say, I'd love to understand. I love asking this question. I recently did this with a good friend of mine. I said to her, can you tell me like what you see in Deborah Silverman? I loved her answer. She has five planets in the house of Leo. She was really quiet. And then she said, you are the wisest little kid I ever met. <laughs> I was like, now, is that a compliment? But the answer of having somebody reflect back to you, the wisest little kid. I understand how that she said it, that there is wisdom, but I play that Leo energy of youthfulness. So ask your friends if you could describe yourself or if you could give your friends some feedback and bottom line their character during this dark moon when you're in self-reflection with a little bit of Leo going on because that's what's going on in the heavens. And there is this big giant grand trine and fire that we're going to talk more about with Uranus and Mercury and Saturn. They're like a perfect triangle going on. But I really want to, before I go there, highlight this double Leo, sun and moon desire for you on Sunday and Monday to just take Sunday night before you start Monday morning and you get up for to go to work and just pause and think, if I was a double Leo and I had real self-esteem from your soul, not your ego, and that's the problem with Leo. They got a little bit of an ego. They're always about the way they look. But what if your inside looked you in the mirror and said, I really do love who you are and put a bottom line to your essence. That's such a great exercise, said the astrologer, to figure out who you are and put words to it. That's why I'm here. That's what astrology does. You can go to my website and I have students that I've taught astrologers that will give you readings who I've trained to be able to look at a chart and say, let me help you know who you are. Of course, you can get a reading with me, but they're so good and so enthusiastic. That's Leo, promoting the ones they love. Astrology Answers wanted me to tell you it's a dark night, double Leo, Mars on the sun and on the moon. It's a little bit feisty. Be careful about your temper and do some self-reflection. Perfect time.